Welcome back to Thief 3. Alright, let's go up into the secret chambers of the Keeper's Palace over. and find some secrets. Search around the Keeper Library for clues about the Dark Age. Which I already did, but apparently I couldn't complete it. Well, either I missed something or I couldn't complete it until I did the other stuff. And I'm guessing it's probably that one. It's probably that I can't complete it until I found the Compendium of Reproach. So let's go back up. Let's go into the, uh, what is it called? The Hidden Library? The Secret Library? Since when? I mean, if a scribe isn't allowed in the scribarium, then who is? All right, where is the entrance? Um, there's a secret entrance... here. There we go. All right, back up we go. Does that open and close the door? Uh, I guess it only opens it. That or maybe this button connects to something on the other side of the world and I just turned it on. Somewhere far, far away across the seas, the ceiling fan in a building turned on. Oh, that's what it's called, the Forbidden Library. Once again, I am not going to steal any of the loot. I might steal knowledge from the, the keepers. And by might, I mean definitely, but I will not steal anything of monetary value. Wait a minute, there was someone down here last time I came in. This has changed. Alright, so this should all be stuff I read. Capabilities should... Yep, I've already read this. Alright, I'm guessing it's probably back up in that main chamber. Like the, you know, the head person's room, whatever it was. Wait a minute, I think this is the main... Yeah, this is the, uh, whoops. How do we get out of this? Right click? Yeah. This is, that's to the main entrance to the Forbidden Library, so I don't need to pick that. And also, when I was reading up about lock picking for this game, I was trying, I was searching for whether the, uh, the practice lock picks, or the practice locks, had any practical use in the game, and I was finding that they don't. But I also discovered something else, and that's that I've kind of been doing the lock picking minigame wrong. Actually, let me, de let me demonstrate on this door. Alright, so what I've been doing is, when you move to the right place, and I just leave it there, it picks the lock, but it takes a second. What I didn't realize is that if you get it to the right place and then left click, it actually instantly picks it. See? So instead of waiting there, if I click, boom, done. So I can actually pick locks way faster. I had no idea you could do that. I'm not sure if the game told me and I just forgot, or didn't pay attention, or if that they just never told me. I don't know. Elder Blake. Keeper Logan. Oh, here we go. I would talk with you a minute in private. We are quite alone. Proceed. The research you requested, it has been completed. And? There are references to the last of all glyphs. And you were right. Only the one can activate it. The one true keeper? That is good. A single person is easier to stop than several, or an unlimited number. Yes, but there is more. The books say that the original Keepers devised the final glyph as a safeguard against Keeper corruption. In the readings, this seems synonymous with the Dark Age. What could it mean? Keeper Logan, even you should know that the prophecies can sometimes be wrong. In the case of Keeper corruption, it is, of course, unthinkable. Of course. Unless... It is unthinkable, Keeper Logan. You must remember that. Especially if there are dark days to come. Of course. In all things, Elder Blake, may you have balance. And you. 
It is, of course, unthinkable. But let me think about it. Where is she going? Okay, I think she just stopped at the... Thing. Yeah. Okay. Whew. I mean, they couldn't, like... That's some seriously ham-fisted foreshadowing. I mean... <laughs> Could it be more obvious? Yeah, keep her corruption. It's unthinkable. Unless... There's obviously something going on with the keepers. That was close. Yeah, I really like this up against the wall thing. Before I thought that it was kind of useless because it seems like it doesn't put you in any more dark than if you were just crouched. And although that's true, I think it, I'm pretty sure it does actually make you basically invisible to enemies. Because I know from in the past that even if you're in full dark and you're crouched, they still will see you if you're right in front of them. But I've had people go right up next to me, where they would definitely see me if I was crouched, but they didn't see me when I was flat up against a wall. So it does seem to be good for avoiding people seeing you, even though it doesn't put you any more in the dark. Oh. Hi. I don't think I should knock anyone out. No, I definitely should not. So yeah, the leaning up against the wall thing, or flattening up against the wall, that's just, it's really cool. Fellow Keeper. Excuse me, I was lost in thought. It's a really cool little thing to add to the game. It makes it so much more tense, too, when you're flattened up against the wall, holding your breath, hoping the NPC won't see you. Alright, let me just take this out. Ah. Oh. Bad timing. There we go. I told them the volumes were missing. So why did Keeper Morgan act surprised during the meeting when it was brought up again? Uh, yeah, like I said, there's probably nothing I need to read that I didn't already see down here, but... But there might be. and health to you, Keeper. Alright, well, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to come back down here if I don't find anything in the main chamber. Because I'm pretty sure it's in the main chamber. That just seems like a natural place for it to be. Pagans... Yep, already read that. Well, it looks like the guy that was sitting in that chair right up here is gone. That's good. I'm going to take this one out. Oh, hi there. I do not trust him. He said to the open air? Who the hell is he talking to? Shit, he's looking my direction. Hmm, it's gone. Blah, 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 call the enforcer. Okay, I already read that. Alright, main chamber. I believe it's through there. Yes. Alright, and that woman that was patrolling up here is gone. Oh, shit, is that the little prophecy girl? <laughs> little prophecy girl. Uh, 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 
I was not even close to full darkness. Oh, God. Is she actually a child? Because she looks kind of more like an alien. Do you think I could blackjack her? What the hell is that on the back of her dress? Does she have a handle? Is that a carrying handle to pick her up with? Alright, well I need to go. Before she comes back. It looked like she had a handle on the back of her dress. <laughs> Well, she does seem pretty small. I guess she could she could be picked up pretty easily. Is she cross-eyed? She really does not look like a child. She looks like some bizarre mannequin analog thing. Alright, where was that secret switch? There it is. Alright, well I've already been here, right? So, surely I'm not going to find anything. Yeah, sound familiar? Meet me, blah blah blah. Yeah, I've already read this. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? I sure hope this isn't bugged. That would blow. Because I've had this quest for like four hours now. But no, it's probably not bugged. I'm probably just missing something. I guess I'll go back down and read the other stuff. But I've already read it all. What am I going to find? Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I don't need to go up here. Maybe it's, I just need to go around the main chambers and talk to some people. But the thing is, I've heard people have new conversations now as I've come up here. So obviously they expected me to be here again. You know, talking about treason and corruption and whatnot. No entities detected. Leaving room. Power source low. Must recharge. By eating the souls of dead babies. Alright, she's gonna leave. She'll come back in a minute. Is there anything else here? There's nothing else here. You know, fuck the keepers. They're causing me so much stress. I'm just gonna steal their shit. Fuck them all. I like how the bookcase opens up into this desk. Hmm, this bookcase is open when it wasn't before. Must have been the wind. Wait, is she going in? Whoa. What are you... <gasps> is she... Am I gonna learn some secrets? Is she gonna go in and, like, start doing... What the fuck? What? Huh? Pathfinding error. Pathfinding error. Malfunction. Malfunk fuck 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 function. What the fuck is she doing? This weird animatronic kid thing. Ugh. Well, who's that I hear? Is there someone outside? Hello? 
Can anybody hear me? Hmm? Alright. Kid. Kid thing. There. Oh well. What the fuck is going on? Here, maybe I can hmm? goad her to go in. Seriously? What the fuck? Oh well. Laws of physics disabled. Processing. Processing. Mission failed! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's continue. Oh my god. Wait, when was my last save? I have no fucking clue what just happened. Ah, <sighs> I gotta love the Thief series. None of the games make any sense. There's always just crazy shit that happens constantly. All right, here I am. Is she gonna bug out again? Here, let me modify her behavior just in case she's gonna bug out in the same way. Never mind. Apparently, she's deaf. Please don't bug. I don't know what it was. Ah, oh, Jesus. It wasn't anything. Seriously, what is that on the back of her? It's a handle. Why does she have a handle? It's a fucking handle. She's meant to be carried. All right, let's try this. <gasps> what is that noise? Investigate. There you are again. Are you high? I will tell. <laughs> God. Ah. Uh, what the fuck do I do? I can't close it. Or can I? Wait a minute. What if I press the button again? All right, let's try that. This game, this game. Alright, so that one guy said something about why can't anyone enter the scribarium? Maybe. Is this the scribarium? I mean, it's called the Forbidden Library, so it doesn't seem like much of a scribarium. But if it's not, then where is the scribarium? Alright, so let her pass, and then try to press the button. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't anything. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this game? Oh my god. Okay, let's let her out. Hmm? There, now she's unstuck. <sighs> it wasn't anything. I don't understand. The hell is wrong with her pathfinding? All right, why don't you just stay in there? Goodbye. Checking around for any other secret switches, which I'm pretty sure there are none. So sure 
Yeah, looks like that's it. Alright, well, I have no idea what the f, f I'm doing. But I'm gonna continue May stealing stuff. Balance. May you scribe well tonight. Yeah, may you scribe well tonight. I think we all know what that's a euphemism for. Oh, is something missing? Is there a thief in your midst? There is no noise now. Yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, maybe this just isn't where I find more details about the... Uh, about the what? Uh, Dark Age. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the main chamber. things. Balance. How could he claim that? And what about the scribes who were hurt? The glyphs they were scribing should be reported. And for now, for safety's sake, we should avoid those particular glyphs. Ah. Ah. Whew. That one's always close. Back to the non forbidden main place. Yes, that's the official name. Already read this. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's see if anything's changed because of the compendium of reproach. Already read that. Was that Garrett saying something? You know that we searched for the Committee for Potion. Our efforts regarding the Dark Age. Well, I recently scribed it. Yep, already read that. May the glyphs bring you balance, Keeper. Oh, it's just you. As heedless as ever, I see. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keeper Council report allowed to return to the Sunken Citadel in an effort to retrieve what he believes to be the lost glyph key. That oh, wait a minute. Wait, do I have the glyph key? I don't think I do, and I don't remember reading this. All right, Keeper Rafay. Rafe? I'm gonna go with Rafe. We'll be allowed to return the sunken citadel in an effort to retrieve uh, what he believes to be the lost glyph key that opens a compendium of reproach. If his theory proves correct, then his success will bring us that much closer to a solution for the Dark Age. However, his request for a team has been denied, as more than one life was lost on the last expedition, and we cannot risk another such contingency. Furthermore, without proof that the glyph key is located in the sunken citadel, it would be unwise for us to overextend our resources and what could be unfruitful despite the plentitude of valuables reported by Rafay. Plentitude of valuables? Ooh! Sounds like something perfect for a thief. Lastly, the council has deemed the citadel unsafe and forbids any keeper to approach the sealed entryway in the docks, sewers, without prior approval. Hmm. I think I found it. Remember? That thing that I couldn't open? In the... the sewers? That's it. I've just unlocked it, haven't I? I think I have. Although nothing popped up, surprisingly. 
but I'm guessing I can probably enter it now. Just to be sure, though, let's search, uh, let's search around. Alright, I think that goes to the... I actually don't remember where that goes. Is that the main door? It might be the main door. Alright, what's in here? Uh, oh, that goes to the Forbidden Library. That's the main entrance. Alright, let's go upstairs. I believe that's the only place left. Ooh, wait a minute. I don't think I read this. The subject requested... I have not read this. Artemis, the passage I scribed below is all I could find on the subject you requested. Keeper Belios said there were other books, but we could not find them. Perhaps someone else is making similar inquiries. Balance, Keeper Austeria. Sentience, also known as artifacts, soul stones, or relics. A, group a grouping of five objects possessing special powers and what is thought to be a consciousness normally only associated with living entities, presumably created as part of an ancient safeguard against the forces of evil. Examples include the Heart and the Chalice, also called the Builder's Cup by the Hammerites. Actually, wasn't it called the Builder's Chalice? Anyway, efforts to confine all the sentience to one place for study have failed. How and when they came into existence is not known. Recommend further study. Oh, so that's why they wanted them. That's what the chalice was about. Confining all the sentience to one place. Hmm. The heart. Thinking about the heart is making me nervous, because I... I might be remembering this wrong, but I think the heart is what you tr have to get at. What's it called? The cradle? Which is that... Fucking horrifying, scary as shit level in this game, which I have a feeling is coming up soon. I have a feeling it's coming up really soon. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to it, and kind of not. You'll see. If you've never seen it before. From what I remember, it's amazing. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be amazing. Okay, upstairs. You know, I think the ladder's faster than that really slow thing, so let me just do this. Alright, what's up here? Nothing. Nothing. Excuse me? Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 don't fucking lockpick it. Do not lockpick it. Jesus. I didn't realize the door was highlighted. I was trying to talk with him. Here. There. Never mind, you can't talk. Okay. Obviously, I'm not supposed to go see First Keeper Orland. So, even though there's no note here for it, uh, I guess I'm off to the docks. To off to the dock sewers. What and why? Where does, this, where does this go again? Stone Market? Yeah, Stone Market Plaza. Let's go. You know, something I find very strange, though, is the fact that even after finding that note saying to go to the dock sewers, this didn't update. I still haven't found clues about the Dark Age. Hopefully I didn't miss a trigger or something, you know? Oh, whoops. Forgot to record. Whew! Sorry. <laughs> at least it wasn't... At least I didn't forget to record for five minutes at this time. Let me put you in the dark. Actually, I'll put you somewhere super comfortable. You can be in the bushes. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay. I am here. 
Need to get the docks, which is down here, so I need to go straight south. What's up, dude? Where the heck does that go? Wait, doesn't that go back to them? Oh no, this is just a storeroom. Hey, sounded strange. Everybody, down. Whew, that was close. I don't know. Could have been anything or nothing. <laughs> there. I don't know, why don't you go investigate? Oh, I'm sorry, that's right, you're unconscious. Asshole. Alright, South Quarter. A scribe must learn to control the glyphs, lest they seek to control the scribe from the Keeper Handbook for scribes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like ten tips that show up in these loading screens and I've read them all. Oh shit! Feel. It doesn't feel good. How about you fuck off? Come here, you, you coward. Really? You're out of breath. And I'm stuck floating. This game is amazing. What is that hammer I'm searching for? Because I know he's my friend. He's not going to attack me. Surely it is not well done. Art well, Garrett? It art very well, too. Did you watch Crime Report? I think I've... Oh, this is actually... <laughs> this is actually recording my crimes. Two citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Alright, well, I'm gonna float my way to victory, I guess. <laughs> At least I'm silent. Alright, the docks... Uh, where am I? I'm here. So, south again. I'm a ghost! Ooh! Ooh! That's for dang darn sure. Not a bit younger at all. No, I think you'll find that time tends to advance forwards, not backwards. It's kind of a thing, you know? Hey, I'm right. What's up, dude? Did I just all well? Here? You're a sight for sore eyes. Well, I wasn't sure I really heard anything anyway. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if going up oh, against no. the wall like Where'd this will it fix it. It did fix it. it. Nothing. I ought to have someone check my ears for mites. But you think your ears might be full of mites? You might want to get that checked out. That sounds disgusting. Okay, let's go. If I still can't go in that place in the sewers and the docks, I'm going to be super pissed. Make her an offerings of man fools fleshes. Drink her a sippings of man fooled blood. Pagan Harvest Song, Author Unknown. Okay. S sewers. How did I get there? I think it was right over here, wasn't it? Like, to the right? Yeah, here we go. Please let me enter. Please, please, please. I really want to go into the sewers. I'm probably going to have to look up a walkthrough if this doesn't work. Shit. It's not going to work. There's no glyph on the stone. Fuck. Fuck you! Let me in! I have no idea what I'm missing at the Keeper's place. Search around the Keeper library to find clues about the Dark Age. Have I not read every single thing in the Keeper's library? I really, really, really hope I'm not bugged. But given all the bugs I'm seeing, like this, I'm fucking suspecting I am bugged. 
Now I'm a ghost again. Gotta love Thief 3. And I can't jump, so I'm stuck here. Okay, I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna go look at a walkthrough, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back in the Keeper Library, and I've looked at a walkthrough, and I know what to do now. There's one book you apparently have to read to be able to continue. And it's shoved off to the side, where you basically can't see it. I'm pretty sure that's it. What is that, you ask? It's that thing that you can barely see. It's that. Yeah, the stuff hidden by the guardrail. Brilliant design decision, game makers. Make you, make you read one obscure book that's hidden where you'd never think to go. I mean, I thought to go to the Forbidden Library where there's obviously hidden stuff because it's forbidden. But no, the thing that I actually need to read, read is in the non-forbidden place, but yet it's hidden from view. Yeah, great. I'm guessing this is it. Keeper Rafe, journal entry number 6145. Damn. Why hasn't Council assigned a team for my expedition? They know the dangers, how the area is swarming with strange creatures. Else, why lock the entrance so carefully? How can I do it alone? Still, they must have their reasons. The sunken citadel holds many secrets, and though I am afraid, I also long to journey there again. Most importantly, of course, is the glyph key. How many years has it lain underground? Decades? We were so close with the first expedition. If only we hadn't been attacked, we'd have the key now, and Keeper Soledad would still be alive. Her death must not be in vain. I will retrieve the key successfully on this next venture. Okay, does this unlock it? Thank you. Well, if this guy thought the glyph key was in this sunken citadel, I don't see why I shouldn't go look there. Sounds like it might be a profitable trip. Interpreter. Well, I'm glad I finally unlocked and activated the script that allows me to continue the game. It's so great for my immersion. You really feel a part of the world when you can feel the script activating. It's wonderful. Search the sewers in the docks to load. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Back to where I was before. <sighs> I have no patience for this. Screw that elevator. I'm Garrett, man. I don't ride the elevator all the way down. I jump off. Of some reverence. Is it all you keepers do? You just walk around muttering things? Why don't you do some work? It's funny, so even after you read the one note telling you, or the book, whatever it was, the one thing telling you that the citadel, the sunken citadel or whatever it's called, might have the key, and it's in the sewers, even after reading that, which is why I went back there, that doesn't activate it. No, you have to read the other note telling you about the same thing, and then you can go. Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck you, game. Hey dude, what's Half up? A minute. I'll give you a quarter of a minute. Hello, citizen. Ooh, I'm just gonna take that. Go to sleep. You didn't do anything to me, but I hate you. And I'm angry. And Garrett loves to take his anger out on helpless civilians. Okay, so I forgot to record some of my travels here, but... Rather than that being a bad thing, it's actually a good thing, because that means I'm going to cut out all of my useless, annoying coming back here again. So, we're here, finally. Looks like I've found the entrance to the sunken citadel Keeper Rafe talked about in his journal. According to him, the glyph key disappeared underground sometime too long ago to think about. Rafe also mentioned caverns swarming with strange creatures. Guess that's why the Keepers put a glyph lock on the entrance. It would be nice to know what sort of creatures, but the Keepers have never been much for a useful detail. Turns out not only did the Glyph Key disappear down here, but so did Rafe. The Keepers never sent anyone after him, but I don't expect he's still exploring the place. I don't have any good leads on where to look for the key, but I can start by looking for Rafe's remains. 
All right. Well, strange creatures. Hopefully they just mean zombies, but I have a feeling they don't. I think if they meant the undead, they would have said the undead. So I have no idea what I'm going to encounter down here. Difficulty, hard. Pretty good on gear, although I could definitely use a health potion or two. Uh, now I have to gamble again as to whether there's going to be an intro movie. Um, it's a new mission, so I'm going to bet there is an intro movie, so I'm not going to stop recording. Please don't crash. It crashed. God, fuck this game. Okay, here's the start of the mission. Let's get to it. Damn these light crystals. What the heck is that? What the? Oh, right, it's black and white. It basically disappears when you do that. Some sort of a symbol. What? Is that a fish person? I'm pretty sure I just saw a fish person. That's a fish person. Actually, sort of reminds me of the creatures from, uh... Well, some of the creatures from Call of Cthulhu, Dark Orders of the Earth. The fish people. What are they called? The deep ones or something like that? Or the ones from the deep... something like that. Shadow over Innsmouth. I could go around these, obviously, but I want the loot. Oh, they sound so adorable! Since you are a fish person, I'm going to put you in the water. There you go. Come on, flop around. Yeah. Alright, there was some loot, I think, up there? Or is it here? Oh, here it is. Four clicks for the pride of existence. We are Kershok. Most bold, most brave, most clever among all the world's creatures. Oh, they're humble. Scholars and adventurers most favored in the eyes of him, the Leaf Lord. Five clicks for Gruliak, most favored of all and king of the Kershok. Human and tree bow before him and we bathe in glory. Three clicks for the vanity of pride. Our people built towering castles and mighty ships. Among all the Leaf Lord's creatures, we were most favored. Still not content, we wished to be set apart. But still, we were favored, and the Leaf Lord gifted the king called Gruliak once more with a golden crown of power. Two clicks for the folly of vanity. Gruliak donned the crown and felt its power. Gruliak the beautiful, Gruliak the strong, Gruliak the mighty spoke. I am greater than the Leaf Lord himself. But dark and terrible is the Leaf Lord, and as great, and as great was his love for the Kershok, now twice as great was his anger. One click for the doom of folly. The Leaf Lord opened the earth and banished us beneath it. Here we dwell forever with no lord or ally, no sun or moon, no rain or wind. The Leaf Lord reached out for the gift he had given us. Gruliak fought him bravely and kept for us the crown, but his hand was destroyed, as are we. Oh. So I guess there are a race of people that have fallen into ruin. But... There are a race of people that have fallen into ruin, but they do have the crown. 
Where did it say that? Uh, fought him. And kept for us the crown. Well, I'm about to take it from you. Does that make me your new leader? the voice acting for them. The clicks and the weird noises. That's really cool. Where are you going I next? I catch what I find. Count nothing. Nothing now. Ah, that was my opening. But I lost it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, my first fish pile. Enjoy. That's a rat. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> or is the wings is off. Nuts, buzz, nuts, buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love some of the voice acting in this game. It's great. I mean, some of the, act some of the voice acting has been really bad, but, like, these, these are really, really well done. These strange creatures. And the pagans, too. Us orderings, finders them crown, taken long ago by them Kershaw, who betrayed the leafy king. Checks for them throne room, bees might there. We takers us it back with us, returns it to him that feeders us and drinks us in honeyed mead. Then Woodsy Lord, uh, them Woodsy Lord, kills us any Kershaw or other getters in our way. Shaman Cornbriar. A golden crown, eh? Now I'm interested. Oh, you just realized about the Golden Crown now, Garrett. Really, that's the script that activates Garrett's knowledge about the Golden Crown, not the last thing I just read, talking about the Golden Crown? What the fuck? Ah, <sighs> this game. Yeah, when I first saw that thing, I didn't think it actually looked like a rat. I thought it looked more like a werewolf thing. But it definitely does have a rat face. Ugh. Come on. Ah, not find anything. He seems to be aggravated because I guess he noticed the loot was gone. Oh, sh you know what? He's too fast. I can't get behind him without running. And I don't think that's a good idea. He might have extra super sense of hearing. Do I have a map for this place? No. Oh! Oh, shit! They're fighting the... What were they called? Hold on. Kershock. They're fighting the... Whoops. They're fighting the Kershock. I'm rooting for the fish people, because they're cool. Come on, fish person. Come on, come on, you got it. Yeah. You show them who's boss. And then you stand there, staring at nothing. Because that's what everyone do does after a fight. Just stares at nothing. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Better nice. hope I'm not sticking around long enough to see these hatch. Oh, these are eggs. Turn to the side. That was close. I could have knocked him out beforehand, but I kind of wanted to listen to what he was saying. So it looks like this is some sort of hatchery place. I wonder if these markings mean anything. I could get away from me, Jewel, did you? <laughs> well, now's gonna be my chance to see if I can knock these things out. Go, 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 go. Oh shit. What is that? You beast dead! Ah, something beast takes my eyes! Hold on just a second, I need to grab this loot. <laughs> and we're good. anything over here. No, I'm good. Alright, let's go through here. Alright, where am I going? Citadel Core. Two clicks for the fall of the Kershaw, banished to abyss, no more favored by the trickster lord, no more see the sun or sky. Kershaw text. Okay, these markings definitely mean something, because this one has two. That's different.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew. Oh, he's coming up. And he's coming down. <laughs> Ooh, it's a kitty cat. A bejeweled kitty cat. Oh shit, there's another one. <coughs> that takes care of that. Alright, let's make another fish pile. I do believe this is my finest work yet. I call it the trifecta of fishery. Alright, that one seems to be constantly patrolling down there. Is that the crown somewhere up there? No, it doesn't look like that's the crown, but there is a lot of loot. And I'm betting the crown is somewhere in there. that leaning actually makes you fall. Oh, whoa. Wait, who who is this? The hell? There's dead people here, are they? These are pagans. Wait, so <laughs> this is a really active place. So there's fish people, the Kershock, there's the rat people, and there's pagans. It's awfully active. Do I shoot above it or at it? Shooting at it makes no sense because it would just fall off the bottom, but maybe? No. Nope. That was a waste. Oh, wait a minute. That thing. Crap. I don't actually know if I can put these out. Shit. Hmm. I guess... Yeah, this'll work. I can just go around and grapple up. <laughs> there we go. Definitely some valuable stuff back there. I wouldn't mind getting that, but it probably pales into the com in comparison to the stuff I'm going to find back here. Oh, hi. What if I come up behind these two? Could I knock them both out? That seems... Wait, no, they're... No, they're activated. They're on alert. I don't think it's even possible to knock them out. I could use a gas grenade on them, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to save that for emergencies. Oh shit! Here's an emergency! Run. 
that is a perfect example of why you don't want to use a gas grenade just to get a little bit of loot. Save it for emergencies. Because emergencies might happen 10 seconds after you comment about the fact that you want to save it for emergencies. I did not know there was another one here. I did not hear more than one. Whew. Anything else on these upper shelves? Doesn't look like it. Have I already read this? I don't... Kershock... No, I haven't. Alright, Town King for... Uh, count 10 for King and... Kroon? I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm gonna go with Kroon. Gruliak the Great fell and lost his hand and wore the Kroon until he died. Oh, oh, wait, that's supposed to be Crown, isn't it? Yeah, that's supposed to be Crown. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting spelling. Gruliak the Great fell and lost his hand and wore the crown till he died. Gruliak's... Uh... Yeah, this was written by someone kind of like half-literate. Gruliak spawned Grustum, brain fever, to search for upper world. Spawned Grendrick, the generous. Shared the crown to friends at Hatchling Day who killed him and kept for their own. Stop line of blood kings, start lesser kings. Kershock suffered King Orpet, who spawned Orpetolia, Orpetolia, who rule for 50 but knew nothing. Okay, I can't even really read this. Great. don't mean to disrespect the fish people, but reading the irrelevant scribblings of half-literate fish people is not exactly interesting. Alright, looks like I've cleaned this place out. 